Hi, in this video, I'm gonna be testing the reflexes of a lower limb. In 1888, uh, John Madison Taylor invented this one, which is very popular in the US. Um, in UK, the stainless steel ones tend to be the most popular here. But I tend to use the Queen's Hammer, which is the plastic version. It just seems to, for me, um, it's a tool that um, I like to use and it seems to, to give me a better result. Now, when we test in the reflexes of a lower, L4, we test S1, and there is an L5, it's a struggle to get it, um, but there is one we can use on the hamstrings, but I'll show you that shortly. When I test L4, I'm going to bend my patient's knee, find the patella tendon, or the ligamentum patelli, as it's medically known as here. I tend to hold the hammer with my finger or thumb, and then find the tendon and just tap, and then you can see there is a response within the quadricep. That would be known as two pluses, and then that would be a normal response. If I could not get a response, then I could call it a one plus, or maybe even a zero in terms of a reflex testing. So to me, that will be testing the L4 reflex. Now, S1, we can do in a couple of ways. If I bend the knee and bring a leg in this position, find the Achilles tendon, we have to pre-stretch the tissue here because it works on the stretch reflex. So for instance, in this case, the Achilles tendon, which is the gastrocnemius, part of the muscle, which is via the tibial nerve, which is part of the sciatic nerve, but is innervated mainly by the S1 nerve root. So if you have a problem between, say, L5 or S1 disc area, and then the S1 nerve root is affected, and then you might find that the, this reflex is gonna be diminished. If I dorsiflex her foot and use two fingers on the plantar surface, and then using the hammer, I'm in this position, and then around the Achilles tendon here, so I'm going to literally tap, and you can see there is a plantar flexion response. Watch again. Not so good, let me just change the angle. And again. So that would be a two plus. Now, I can also elicit a response. So this is, you've got the medial and lateral plantar nerve here. So if I use two fingers and dorsiflex, and then I tap in the, somewhere in the ball of the foot, you can also see a response of the plantar flexion. So that would be a two plus response, which is normal. For the L5, if I get you to have a line in front, please. Remember, I've been testing the right leg, but it's probably easier for the demonstration if I use the left leg. Now, if I bend the knee, and if I ask you to flex the knee, please, so we find the semitendinosis will go to the pes anserinus area, so semimembranosis. So if I let the leg just relax on me, like this, like oh, and if I come over onto the semitendinosis, I'm gonna use my thumb in this case, and then I'm gonna come onto the tendon and just apply pressure so I change the shape. And then I'm going to use my finger on a patella hammer, and I'm going to tap my thumb, and you can see there was a response. So this is the hamstring, and it's mainly coming from L5. So watch out again, so on my thumb, and you can see that is a contracture within the muscle. So again, that would be a two plus grid for the L5 reflex.